Welcome to Emergency Chaos, where we provide tips and tricks to make you a better ER nurse. Today, we are going over medications you should master as a new ER nurse. If you haven't heard of a medication that I mentioned, or just feel like you don't know it as well as you should, I would like for you to make flashcards or whatever your own method is, but I want you to take the time to at least learn the basics of each medication. Before going over the meds, I want to go over some basic nursing tips regarding, regarding medications. The first tip is going to be to be extra careful with opioids, blood thinners, pressors, blood pressure medications, benzos, and insulins. Although we need to be safe with every medication, why these? Well, these tend to be the medications you can really hurt someone if you are not careful with. For example, if you give someone too much insulin of the wrong insulin. So again, just be extra careful with opioids, blood thinners, pressors, blood pressure medications, benzos, and insulins. The next tip is going to be to always, always before giving a medication to a patient is to ask if they have any allergies. If this is your first contact with the patient, even if the EMR says that the patient doesn't have any allergies, even if the previous nurse told you, hey, the patient does not have any allergies. If, if it's your first contact with the patient, you're giving medications, you still need to check for yourself. Then, if you don't know what you're giving, don't give it. And you should look it up and then go back and give it, right? So you shouldn't be going into a patient's room to give a medication if you don't know what the medication even is, right? You need to educate yourself first. Remember the rights of medication administration from back in nursing school? Remember, like, including the right reason, et cetera, et cetera. All of those still apply. So, again, if you don't know what a medication is for or even what it is, you need to be looking it up before even pulling it from the Pixis. And then again, if you have any medication questions, especially when it comes to the meds we said to be extra careful with, just call your pharmacist and get the, the get their name, right? Because you want to see why you have to protect your license. And then on that note with protecting your license, once you start following orders blindly, that's when you're going to make mistakes. The docs and the providers are human. They make mistakes as well. And if you're just following orders blindly, then you are going to make mistakes as well. So now let's get into the medications. These are the vasopressors that you need to familiarize, familiarize yourself with. These include epinephrine, norepinephrine, phenylephrine, vasopressin, dopamine, and dubiotamine. Again, these are the vasopressors that you should take the time to familiarize yourself with. Now, these are going to be the blood pressure lowering medications that you should take the time to familiarize yourself with. And these include nitroglycerin, nicardipine, labetalol, hydralazine, vasotec, and nitroprusside, right? These are going to be the heart rate medications that you should take the time to familiarize yourself with. These include deltiazem, metropolol, amiodarone, and esmolol. These are going to be the sedation and anal analgesia medications that are used for intubated patients to ensure they're not waking up while they're intubated. And again, these are propofol, versed, presidex, and fentanyl. Here are the medications that we use to intubate patients for rapid sequence intubation. These include etomidate, ketamine, versed, propofol, and then you have your paralytics, rock, suck, and then vex. So again, take the time to go over these medications and knowing exactly what they are, right? Here we have psych and sedation medications that you should take the time to familiarize yourself with, including Haldol, Olanzapine, Risperidone, Benadryl, Ketamine, Ativan, Versed, right? So take the time to go over all of these medications. And then I have some antidotes that you should definitely take the time to go over, right? So again, you can pause the video here and go over all the antidotes, but for sure, take the time and memorize the antidotes. Here, I'm just listing some of the ACL ACLS meds and critical care medications that you should definitely be aware of and comfortable with. Some of them are repeats, of course, from previous slides, but of course, it's going to include epinephrine, amiodarone, lidocaine, atropine, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, dopamine, and sodium bicarbonate. Here, I just wanted to list some of the medications that I believe are still very important that you should take the time to look, take the time to look over. These include like TPA, TNK, heparin, calcium gluconate, because you also have calcium chloride, as we discussed, of course, glucagon, all your insulins, B12, 
phenobarbital, pentobarbital, mannitol, the list goes on, right? For sure, no albuterol, no dilantin, no Lasix. Get familiar with the steroid, with Reglan, Meclizine, a GI cocktail, aspirin, even activated charcoal, Benadryl, uh, protonics, and adenosine. Adenosine, I should have mentioned in the ACLS medications, but for sure, adenosine here, right? So these are also medications that I want you to take the time to fam familiarize yourself with especially as a brand new ER nurse. And if you haven't even hit the floor yet, you should be looking these up before that day. And then here, instead of doing a question of the day, let's do a quick tip of the day. Know that some Hispanic patients, if you ask them, do you have any chest pain? They're going to say no. But if you say, hey, do you have any chest pressure? They may say yes. So I want you to get in the habit with your Hispanic patients to say, hey, are you having any chest pain or chest pressure? This is just to ensure that you're not missing anything important. Thank you for your time today. I hope that I was at least able to teach you one thing. If you want to keep learning, I've listed my favorite ER nursing related books in the description with my favorite being Sheehy's and the case files as well. Please take the time to watch my other videos. Also, if you would like to help support the channel, I have nursing stickers and shirts on Redbubble that you can check out again. Thank you for your time today. And as always, teamwork makes the dream work. And here at Emergency Chaos, we are proactive, not reactive.